<laughs> How are you guys doing? So in a little bit, we're going to be joined by a very, very, very special guest. We have Super Dope Q here from Black Ink Crew, New York City. So it's very, very exciting. But while we wait for them, make sure you drop your scent of the day below. Allure Ohm Sports, love it. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Oh no, my God. You can see my Christmas tree. <laughs> yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. It's been a long time coming. It makes me feel festive. Hey, how are you? Drop your scent of the day. How's it going? <laughs> and then you guys also got a sneak peek of my stash as well. Um, I'm actually decluttering. I know it's so embarrassing. I'm actually decluttering my perfume collection. I'm filming that right now. So that's going to be up for you guys pretty soon. Hey, how are you? You're here. Awesome. So Super Dope Q is in the building. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can prop this up right here. It doesn't mess with the sound or anything. Hey. Oh my gosh. What's up? <laughs> we can see each other. We can hear each other. Hardly. <laughs> Okay. So everyone, this is Super Dope Q. I know you guys know him from Black Ink Crew, but I want you to have the opportunity to go ahead and introduce everyone to like what you're doing. So okay. you guys, he's a stylist. He does fashion design, everything. Like there's so much that he does. So I want you to uh, let everyone know what you do. Okay. Well, hi everybody. What's up with it? This is your boy Super Dope Q. I was um. Well, I start off as a celebrity stylist, and um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, clothing line, clothing store, and now I ventured off into my own fragrance, you know, and I do those type of things. That's just it. I do music on the side. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out to my LGBT community, everybody out there. Hey, what's up? Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely a jack of all trades and just an artist all around, which I think is super, super, super awesome. Yeah. So I want you to let everyone know where you're from because I think it's really cool because I'm a Midwest girl too. Oh, <laughs> you're from the Midwest? Okay. Yes. Uh, everybody, I'm from Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 404 Rays. That's by Chicago if you don't know where that's at. It's yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Home of the Bucks, Green Bay Packers, the Milwaukee Brewers, you know, yes. all that, you know, all that good shit. So... That's pretty nice. I'm from. Are you also based in New York and Atlanta? Yeah, so ATL is where I started. ATL is where I came from, from New York, mm -hmm. you know. So ATL, I've been in Atlanta about five years. Mm -hmm. So when I was there, that's where I really, like, took off of my career in Atlanta. Then uh -huh. I branched off to New York this year. I've been in New York for a year. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. So you. how are you How are you like in New York City? And where do you stay in New York City right now? Well, I stay in Jersey, but... Mm -hmm. Since the COVID-19 shit's been going on, I haven't been to New York at all. <laughs> you had to flee, right? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I stay in Jersey, um, but I like it, but I love New York. I, at first, it was kind of weird for me. It was hard. It was, like, it's more expensive. It's, like, the grind is different in New York, but yeah. I love New York. I, it was a blessing to experience it for a whole year of filming for the show, so it's, like, you know, I'm a New York guy now. You know, I'm, I'm New York all over me now. So yeah, awesome. absolutely. Oh, also, I forgot to ask you, are you comfortable with taking questions? If someone submits questions, are you okay with that? Oh, go ahead. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Sure. Okay, awesome. And he's going to be, like, super humble, but I have to brag on him, the fact that he's actually styling Kiki Palmer. Like, that's really amazing. <laughs> Everybody says that, like, yes, I work with Kiki um, time and time, especially when... Um, we do like music stuff. Like Kiki calls me a lot for her music videos or things that she does with music because that's like one of our specialties. You know, like I style a lot of music artists. So a lot of people who are in music or they're trying to become bigger in music, they hit me up for that like music artist look. Like, you know, I know how to give that look out real quick, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do some really cool looks. Um, the way I would describe your looks are like really risque, really edgy, just really like fun and fresh. Like how would how would you describe the looks that you do? Like kind of kind of like uh, sexy, crazy, cool. That's what I like kind of describe it as. Like um, I can do anything. Like really, I can make you look sexy. Yeah. You know, fully covered. Mm -hmm. um, 
I can make you look funky, fly, like all those things in one without you looking like crazy or yeah. you know, something that you're weird dressing or you're mm -hmm. weirdo or anything like that. So that's pretty much like, yeah, crazy, sexy, cool. I would say dope, fresh, all yeah. that. super dope, super dope. Absolutely. And I feel like when you do it, it looks really cool because some people I just feel like it's trying hard. Like you can tell they're like trying hard, but it looks effortless. Yes, that's what I try to give off like, I don't want to like we're trying something that they don't they can't fit or they can't rock. You know, I want them mm -hmm. to you know, I want them to be comfortable and something that makes everyone like, wow, who dressed you or you look nice or where'd you get that from? Like yeah. I like those type of reactions. So it's like I would never have my clients looking crazy or look like they're forced on something, you know? Yes, because yeah. you have to put your name on it at the end of the day. You want people exactly, to know. <laughs> exactly. Do you have any like favorite designers that you like to work with or that kind of yeah. thing? Yeah, I I work with a lot of upcoming designers. Like mm -hmm. I'm a person where I I got in the game with styling and fashion with no help, such mm -hmm. as like I didn't know where to go get clothes, I didn't know who to talk to, I didn't know who to um to hit up, you know. So it's kind of like I did my own grinding. So I like to work with upcoming designers who are fresh in the game, you know, that are trying to get their work out there and trying to get their stuff yeah. on other celebrities and stars because I know once I was in their position trying to put my clothes and everything on someone. So now I like to give everyone opportunities. And, you know, it's just like just growing up, you don't have a lot of people who are willingly willingly to help you in the game and to give you free yeah. games and to help you elevate and stuff like that. So I feel like mm -hmm. I'm here, I'm blessed. So therefore, I don't mind taking on new designers or designers hit me up. They want to send me stuff. I don't mm -hmm. mind trying it out on my clients and putting their stuff out there, their work out there. So I don't have any favorite designers. I just like to see the upcoming and everyone working and wh whoever has that grind, that motivation that they want to get their things out there. So I try to help any way I can. Yeah, I love that. And I feel like it keeps like your style young and fresh because it's not something that we've seen a thousand times that everyone's using that's like just everywhere. It's like super saturated. Like it's, it's Yeah, good. like it's the favorite type of things in the game. You know, we're in an industry where it's, it's like people feel like they don't have a chance. They don't have an opportunity because no one is giving them a chance because they're so focused on that person wearing that hot item and now everyone's just wearing that because that person wore it. So it's like, mm -hmm. I try to work with different people. So they're like, well, where did they get that from? Yeah, we're not wearing the same thing that she and he is wearing over there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's how it is. It's just like, you got to be ready yeah. for this game. <laughs> are there any trends that you're seeing right now to where you're like, oh my God, I love that. That's a new trend. Or are there any trends to where you're like, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trends that I like right now are kind of like, I love stack pants. That's like one of my favorite. Like I could, I, I commend the stack pants, and then like mm -hmm. I like the ruffle pants. Like because I kind of have all the time. Let me see. Uh huh. We'll stand up a little bit. Oh, you that's see, cool. like the ruffle pants. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like the. Hold on, let me stand my foot. I want to fall on here. But you see how it is. Yeah. Like that. Like that's the new the the like the new style that I'm seeing, and I love oh, those it. Those are cool. I haven't seen those before. Yeah, it's like on the sleeves as well. You see, those are awesome. It's so kind of like um, that. He Q has his own store in Milwaukee, which is what he's sitting in right now. Yeah, and, and I was hoping we maybe later get a little bit of uh, tour I'll run after. Around real quick. <laughs> okay, okay, that's what I'm hoping. I want to see. Is this I one like of the garments that you guys sell there? You said what? Do you guys sell stuff like this in your store? Yeah, we sell a lot like stack pants. We have mm -hmm. like different dope tops. Like the super dope closet is full of different dope things. Like mm -hmm. that's like the styling. And then another trend that I've been seeing that I don't like. Let me see a trend that I've been seeing that I don't like. Oh, I haven't really seen any trends. I'm not. You know what? I'm not a hater of the trends. You know, yeah. I let trends be trends, but I might not get involved in those trends. Right. But, I'm not a trendy type of guy. I'm a, you know, a next level type of guy. So I like to bring out stuff first or try mm -hmm. to do what everyone's not doing, you know? So Yeah, we're kinda in a, a age where you can kinda wear what you want to anyway. Like everything's permittable, like Yeah. Like, you yeah, like you can do whatever. You can do whatever I feel like. Yeah. You can do whatever, wear whatever. Cause like right now what I've been wearing lately, I have been wear do I have the scarf here? I have been wearing like scars on my head to match my outfits, like under, like tight, like little gold piece kind of. Huh? 
that's a new trend that's coming for the guys that everyone is looking at. Like, well, like you can take whatever scarf. If it's a nice fashion scarf, a silk scarf, a Gucci scarf, a neighborhood scarf, whatever, just add it to your uh -huh. outfit. And it just like gives you an extra look. I like that. Nice. I love that. I actually haven't seen that, but I can imagine that's going to be really cool, especially if like spring, summer. That's going to be like a really Yeah, dope. like you can wear the, the, hold on, let me give you an example. Yeah, I feel like I have to see it now. Like I need that visual. <laughs> Um, it's like a. I'm gonna see if I can find it for you. You're gonna have me in my closet looking for like how I can re recreate that today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I found it. Okay. So it's kind of like. Let's see. Okay, so they're kind of doing the looks like, like this with the two scarves. You see the the scarves. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, so they're kind of doing the. You know, this, yeah. bringing this back. Remember yeah. back in the day in the 70s? Yes. Where this used to be part of your outfit? You're like in the convertible and it's waving in the Shop wind. Like, yeah. 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 So Bougie. This is what, like, they're trying to bring back, like, girls can bring it back with different hairstyles. Uh -huh. you know? Like, it's just either way you can turn it into fashion. Like guys yeah. might wear it and they have like a neighbor and scarf or something or that they might want to add to their swag or their outfit. Ladies uh -huh. they have a purse or a bag and they might have nothing to wear that day. Or your hair might be messed up. You just want to just part it, have a bag, whatever. You yeah. can add the scarf. Like, it's yeah. just like something for like big glasses, anything. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. just bringing that seventies look back. So that's the trend that we're going to see this summer a lot. And a I'm lot of people you guys heard it here first. And then I'm like gonna be like looking at my scarves because I wanna do that. Cause when you said the glasses, like that's instant chic. Yeah, yeah, like instant ASAP. See? Look. You I love straight, that. You went from strength to chic, ASAP. <laughs> exactly. You are a trendsetter. Okay, I love it. Thank you. Is there anyone on the show to where you would just love to style them? Like you love their style so much, you would just love to be their stylist for a day? On the show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm, no, <okay>. no. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm Caesar stylist, and I don't have a problem with that. I love Caesar. Uh -huh. um, but anyone else on the show? No, no. Who I want to style on the show? I want to do a makeover. With, I want to make over Donna. Oh, okay. I want to make over Donna from hair to clothes to everything. I just want to do her a full makeover to mm -hmm. show how I can transform her because I love Donna too. Yeah, she's such a naturally pretty girl. Yeah, and Rock. I will help Rock out because they always get on Rock saying, like, how we best friends and he need help. So I will help <laughs> Rock out. This <laughs> hey, help a friend out. Don't let don't yeah. come out there looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I'm not going to ask you the other part of, like, who needs one. Like, really bad. We won't be Oh, it's that. okay. You know, I, I hey, <laughs> who needs one, we can do that, too. Who who really needs a refresh, we'll say? I would say who really needs a refresh on the show, I would say, um, who? <laughs> Walt. Walt, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because uh, he's still stuck in his polo days. Mm -hmm. um, Walt. Um, Tati. Um, Bay is cute from time to time, but she still needs a little yeah. help. She still needs a little yeah. help. It's not all the way there, but she's cute, though. Um, yeah. Is that I can see Tati getting together. a little bit more sexy. Huh? I can see Tati getting a little bit more sexy. More that sex would... appeal instead of more, like, she gives me more, like, tomboyish, more street. Like, mm -hmm. she can give a little bit more sexy. Um, mm -hmm. And let me see. Ted's fly. Ted's always in some fly shit. Um, yeah. Caesar's fly, of course. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and um, Puma has his days, but he can he he can use a fixer up in, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like he kind of has like that artsy style, which are I really, really yeah. Like. I do, but people don't get to see it a lot, like. You yeah. Have to catch it to understand Puma's style, like because mm -hmm. he, he has pieces. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, he has pieces and like swag. Like he'll come in with his 
jumpsuit on, his mechanic jumpsuit on with the with the glasses and his um converse, you know, like that yeah. style. So it's like, okay, cool. I feel like pieces usually means like you have the components but putting it together. Yeah, that is hard. Yeah, <laughs> I meet a lot of people like that. Like I meet a lot of people who have the pieces but like it's just hard to uh it's hard for them to put it together. So a lot of people hire me who have a lot of pieces. They hire me a lot. We have a comment that says, you and Donna be swaggy. So people really like your style. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Donna is a, like, when I see Donna, Donna has her own style. Like, she's colorful. She's, mm -hmm. she's like, bright like me. So, yeah, I can see me doing something with Donna. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to have to do a lot, like a live makeover or something with her. Something yes, like that. that would be awesome. So have you always been into tattooing? Has that always been, like, a part of, like, how you express yourself? Yes, I've always been into tattoos. I slept. My first time getting kicked out the house, I got a tattoo. That was my first time getting put out. Mm -hmm. When I got a tattoo, I was like 16. So I've been getting tattoos since I was young. So I've always been tatted, though. Like, I've always been tatted like a biker boy since college. So uh -huh. it's like, growing up, I knew, like, tattoos is part of art. It's a part of fashion. It's a part of art. It's just, and it's a different type of art. And I always tell people, it's like, people who are into tattoos, it's like, it's real different as fuck. It's like, yeah. like they have a different type of eye. Just yeah, like I have a different type of eye for clothes, so it's just weird. It's just weird, but yeah, I've always been into tattoos, and then mm -hmm. me meeting Caesar, I was just so infatuated with the tattoo because it was like meeting someone who's into tattooing, and they have all these businesses. They're really serious about it. I never knew tattooing could be so serious. Right. <laughs> so it was just a great experience for me. So yeah, I always love tattoos. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely we on the show we get to see all the business aspect of it. Like, yeah, we don't, instead of just going into a shop and getting a tattoo, that's all you think it is, but it's like all the business management, the managers, and all this paperwork and licensing. It's like we, we get to see a lot, yes. And then also, like, what's your process when you get a tattoo? Is it more so like you're just feeling it at the moment, or is it more so like something that you plan out for months or? No, it's a, always a moment thing for me. Like, when I got my head done, mm -hmm. um, um, it was just like, I, I've been working my head done and no, but I was like, I don't have a super dope tattoo. And I was like, I need to get super dope on the side of my head. Yeah. And I was like, who, I wanted to show, like, who gonna do my, uh, my head tattoo? And they like, yeah. you ready? they like that I come in. I'm just ready to work. Like, I want to try new things. And it's just like, mm -hmm. it's fun. The whole Black Ink is family. All season shops and Everything besides the cast base, like everyone is like family of the ink. Like mm -hmm. we all like want a tattoo. We all want to come in and try different things, look at other tattoos, and yeah. you know, talk a little shit to see who's better and doing what. Like yeah, it's fun. I think that's why we all tune in because we love the artistry of it. Like yeah, of course, like of course, there's gonna be disagreements or whatever whenever you work with someone, but we love the artistry of what you guys do there. Yes. I right. saw that he's expanding, possibly going to Chicago. Since you're from the Midwest, would you like to do that, or would you love to stay in New York? Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> they, I may be from the Midwest, from Milwaukee, but I do not want to go to Chicago. <laughs> Why not? Days, like, no, no, no. I'd rather stay in the Big Apple than going to the mini version of New York to Chicago. That's true. That's so true. Like, you know, like, it doesn't just make any sense. But if Chicago's not ready for me, let's make that clear. They're not ready for a real one. They're not ready for a real one. They have to get ready. They have to get prepared. They got to get prepared. They already have another guy over there like me who cuts colors his hair and shit over there mm -hmm. already. Actually, I just saw a comment and someone's like, oh, my God, you dyed your hair black. Yes, my new color. I'm black. I'm back black, black ink style for the month. You know, don't worry, it's coming back. Just don't worry. It's just a fresh redo from the, all the colors. For the people that don't know, Q always has a different color hair. So it's been yellow, it's been red. What other colors? I've been yellow, I've been red, I've been rose gold, I've been pink, I've been light blue, baby blue, shark blue, <laughs> um, um, burnt orange, all uh -huh. up, the oh, burnt orange. Um, what else I have? And I always be white. I'm a white. I always have white hair too. Yeah, so, yeah. I, that that's it. I haven't did any other like greens or purples or or nothing like that yet. But 
I'm dropping a coloring kit coming out real soon. So for nice. African Americans who can dye their hair more than one time in a week without bleaching their hair to the highest process. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming out with my own hair dye kit that's gonna be in stores for people to change their hair color, you know, or more than once in a week without dyeing their hair to the highest value. Oh my God, that's so smart because yeah, it's like a, a completely different process for us when you have pro textured hair when you dye it versus other textures. Yes. And they have nothing in store for us. Yeah, that's so smart. Where's where is it going to be sold? Is it going to be from your store or where can we buy it? Well, I, I, I would just say the first one that's going to be in, it starts with the S, then it ends with the B. Oh, it starts with the S. And the second word, well, the, the first word starts with the S, and the second word starts with the B. Can you guess? Oh, that? we're already there. We're already there. <laughs> we know. <laughs> it's the only hair store that starts with the S. Her yes. Miss yes. Ben. <laughs> and you know, they're actually one of the stores where I know, at least where I am, they're actually open during all this craziness. But this yes, pictures. yes, they are. Like when I went and got my hair done, I was like, oh, okay, where are you located? I'm located. I'm in the uh, Chicago area right now, so they're oh, okay. I'm in Milwaukee right now, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was like, look at them trying to make their coins. Okay, Chicago, <laughs> you down the Get all that business, right? So, just, as far as tattoos, do you have like any that's like your favorite? Or do you have any that you're like wanting to cover, perhaps? Yes, yeah, I have to get rid of all my ex's names. Like, I'm cursed. I have. <laughs> I have a, 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 my, one of my exes on my finger. I thought I was getting married. I thought I was engaged. That has to go. That has to go. Um, I have, um, well, I seem to be covering up some of my neck, but uh -huh. I had an ex birthday up behind my ear. That has to go. I'm like, I'm just a, a hopeless romantic. So I just fall yeah. in love fast, but. Not this year. I'm usually just falling in love. That's all. But yeah, I gotta get it covered. There are a lot of my ratchet tattoos because I've been tatted since I was like 16. So I get a. I used to get a lot of tattoos at the house parties. Or I used to go somewhere get a tattoo, or my cousin yeah. tattoo me. Like so, it was just like I gotta get like a lot of my stars. Like you know, mm -hmm. back then when stars was real popular. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, stars was real popular. And I had stars everywhere. I had the Chris Brown and Rihanna stars. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was oh. just thinking about that the other day to where you can kind of like tell people's age by what tattoos they have. Like, I feel like in our generation, everyone had the trail of stars. And yes. Like, the, thing. <laughs> the shooting stars. <laughs> the shooting stars. Like. I love it. So speaking of your hopeless romantic and the people that you're dating, we're going to transition to like the scents. What kind of scents do you like them to wear? Like what? What do you uh, see your partner and they're just like, mm, it smells so good. Well, okay. So you say, what do I like my partner to wear? As far as the clothes or or, or well, the, everything all together. That what do you like them to smell like? What do you? What's your ideal person? <laughs> my ideal person. Well, I'm, I'm a, I love at heart, so I'm an insider. You know, like mm -hmm. outside things have really not done so much for me. You know, yeah. and and people may not think that because of they. Just call me handsome or cute or whatever, but I don't look at all that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I just work with their working, their yeah, hustler, exactly. work with their hustler. And but if I am looking for someone, they have to be like, you know, I like height. I don't like anyone short. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, short stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like nobody short. I'm into like, you know, they gotta be a little hood. You know, I'm from the hood. Yeah. A little hood. A little street. And, a little street, got a little bit, a little street smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, this is uh, handsome. Mm -hmm. and, um, they can dress. They have to smell good, like hygiene and like I'm into teeth. I'm into like skin. Yeah. Like I'm mm -hmm. just into more small things, like you know, what I'm saying like manicures and stuff yes. like that. Like just keep yourself small together. Things. Yeah, and. And like leave they sit everywhere. I like someone who can leave a good smell and sit everywhere. Like you know that they was there. Like we'll just for like, oh, he was there here. Like, you know, like Yeah. Do you yeah. like really like deep, strong scents or do you like more light and fresh or what kind of scents? Light do you like? and fresh. I don't like strong granddaddy scents. Like start smelling like we got it off of oil musk and like like <laughs> hell no. I don't like that type of shit. 
Yeah, yeah, light and fresh. Do you like floral at all? Floral type scent? Yeah, like, because <laughs> everyone says my cologne smells kind of is similar to uh, Baccarat. Have you ever smelled Baccarat mm -hmm. before? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what people say it smells like. But it's like, and like oh my god, oh my god, this smells like Baccarat. And I'm like, yeah, because that's one of my favorite um, fragrances is uh, Baccarat. And that bottle is like $400 in the stores. Yes. So I was like, you know, I didn't just make a fit close to my own smell, how I smell, because I wear it every day. So it was kind of uh -huh. like, I have to put on my own bottle. So I came on my own smell. I put that Chanel blue, like uh -huh. my favorites, all into one that I, uh -huh. you know, like I took the oils and the woods from those and I made my own. So where where did the name come from? Carve. Carve means like um, dope. Dope in uh, French, like oh, it's like, yeah, it's just like another word for dope, but in a different language. Okay, so super dope, but in French. Yeah, so it's like trying to call my boo 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 soir or whatever, you know. Like. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. So for your scent, you said it smells a little bit floral. Does it smell a little bit sweet? How does it smell? Floral, sweet, and smooth. It's mm -hmm. floral, sweet, smooth, and it's. It's unisex, so it doesn't smell like it's for a woman, just like Baccarat. Mm. Know, it, it, it doesn't smell like it's for a man or it doesn't smell like it's for a woman. So it's mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. Like, Ooh. the smell is very soft and very, but it's still that smell that makes you like, ooh. Like, it's just like, the yeah. smell makes you want to go home with the person. It makes, you, uh -oh. it makes you keep grabbing their shirt like, what do you have on? You know how you just on somebody like, what do you have on? You're going to get somebody in trouble with that scent. That's what I said. I said, if your boyfriend spray on this, make sure you know where he at. If your girlfriend spray on this, make sure you know where she at. Yeah, absolutely. And so what, what was your it. thing behind you wanted a unisex scent? Why did you choose unisex? Because, um, like, um, the guys, the, the ladies love me. The ladies support me. The ladies love mm -hmm. me. And the guys support and they love me. And they love the girls. So it's just mm -hmm. like, I want to make something that was for both. I didn't want to put it in one field and, and you know, leave anyone out. You know, this is the a unisex world I live in. So it's just like, I wanted to be able to yeah. put everyone. Then I didn't want it to be one-sided where guys would think it smells like like girls and the girls think it smells like guys. So I just made it right in between so everyone could be happy and everyone could smell good or spray on it or use it. Mm hmm and then I feel like a lot of people don't make unisex things for people as much, you know? Yeah. It's always like, did I have to come up with a woman's fragrance? And then that's only her fragrance. And I have to <laughs> spend more money coming out with it. It was just tired consuming money and safer. Yeah. And I think in the fragrance community, for sure, there's like a thing where a lot of guys are like, I like a, lo I like a lot of women's scents, supposedly. And there's yeah, a lot it's of like vice versa. Like, it's, like it's, yeah, it's like you have women who like, Men certain stuff like Chanel, Chanel this or should you have guys who like this and it's like oh you got that I'm like yeah I'm like okay so it's like but if they have a smell that was unisex they won't feel any type of way of showing the bottle that they're using or mm -hmm. you know because people don't even like to show people what they're wearing like I can't, yeah they're like trying to hide like, I don't know if I wear Prada candy like who cares <laughs> exactly you already know see you already know Exactly. And then also I wanted to ask, when is the best occasion to wear this scent? Is like more daytime, nighttime, or what do you think? Oh, and that's another thing. It's a day and night scent. It's an mm. all-day scent. I spray it twice a day. I spray it in the morning when I after I shower and stuff like that to let it sink and stuff like that. And then <laughs> um, I spray probably about in the evening where I feel like I just need a refresher. So I spray like in the evening, but everyone says it stays on their clothes. And then if you wash sometimes it still stays. So oh, it's like one of those smells. Like you can be hanging your stuff up in the closet and you go to your closet, you can still smell it. So that's why I'm like, just like the Baccarat, like it's a mm -hmm. long lasting scent. Yes, that's like one of our pet peeves and like in the fragrance community, it's like you buy something, you really like the scent, and then you get it home and it's like gone. It's like it's gone. Okay. It's like, ugh. Like, yeah, I hate that. Yeah, absolutely. And then also I wanted to ask what's going to happen in the season finale that's going to air tomorrow at eight PM seven. Wait, what's today? Wednesday? Today's Tuesday, right? Or no? I'm, I've lost oh, track today's of the quarantine. Today's Wednesday, I think. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Someone I, I help mean, us in the comments. <laughs> hey, y'all, what today is? 
Let us know. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> this is Tuesday. <laughs> so look, no. It feels like Tuesday. one long weekend. It, it does. It does. But, well, basically, you can look for some more drama, of course. Um, Kitty's coming back to, mm -hmm. to, to tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh. But I can't say too much. I just need everybody to tune in. One thing I can say, okay. I won't be in the episode tomorrow. Because I okay. didn't go to Hawaii. I didn't go to Hawaii. But it's, it's just, you know, it's okay without me. Just okay. It could be it's better okay with without you. Me. They don't, they'll see why they needed me there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We can, everyone, you have to go let VH1 know that you want to see more of Q in the episodes. Yes, tell them don't leave you on no more vacations, please. <laughs> and then also, what else do you have coming up before you give us a sneak peek of your boutique? Well, um, I have um, a, a genderless skin, skincare line coming out. Um, uh, also with the hair coloring kits. Mm -hmm. I also have I'm dropping more super dope merch coming real soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll teach the graphic tees and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And my music, you know, I'm a music artist on the side. Mm -hmm. So I'm dropping my mixtape top of May, which mm -hmm. is next week. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And yeah, I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek. It looks the best, but I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I was listening to your music last night, and I was like, okay. Yeah, yes, I got some bangers. Yes, I can't wait till our big stage drop. You're gonna really love it. I have a couple features and stuff on there. I just hope you guys like it. I just want you guys to like vibe out. So I'm happy a big tape is finally dropping because I always drop singles and now I can drop a big tape and people can pick their own songs mm -hmm. that they like. So I'm excited about that. Yes, we yeah. have a club in our house. Yes, exactly. you're about to show us the boutique. I'm so excited. Okay. Guys, because it's just blue tea. So, this is the pink room. This is where they do hair and things that here. This is the pink room. Oh, that's so cool. There's a salon there. Yeah, this is the pink. This is the pink room. This is like the massage table area where they do the lashes and stuff like that. Um, this side is the nail side here. This is like the nail side here oh, for cool. nails and stuff. This side here, this because this room is the super dope closet. SDC her. This is the, mm -hmm. the her, the pink room. This side is the black side. This is yes, love that rug. Thank you. This is like the the other side here. As you guys see, we're renovating and stuff like that because. It's when we come back, it's going to be hot, hot. No winter clothes. This, this is a one stop shop to get fly. Like, you get your nails done, your hair done, your lashes, get your outfit. <laughs> yes. Everything. Yes. This is, this is it here. Yep. I have, we have super dope t shirts. We have everything here. We have super dope shirts. We have items for girls here. We have a lot of stuff here. Do you guys still online right now? We were, but the inventory got crazy where, you know, people were, like, they were buying and buying and buying, and I had to, like, stop it because we couldn't keep up with, yeah, you know, with the, with the, with the thing. So, this is the store. Yeah. I you guys love see? it. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> we're getting a lot of stuff together right now, but that's it. It's a great, looks like a great event space, too. Yes, we have a lot of pop up shops. We let people have pop up shops here and mm -hmm. things like that. So it's pretty fun. Awesome. And then, how can people purchase your fragrance right now? Everyone can go to superdopeq.com. Superdopeq.com. Type in superdopeq.com and order your bottles. The bottles are forty nine ninety nine, so fifty dollars. And mm -hmm. I think they're doing a deal. Like if you order something, get another bottle or something else. I don't know, but. Mm -hmm. Um, you can check it out at superdopeq.com and things like that. 
That's awesome. It says it's unisex fragrance. It's just in time for Mother's Day as well. If you guys are looking for gifts for that, so. Yes. And also, when they open back outside that time, I'm going to go on a pop-up shop tour where I'll be bringing the cologne and things like that for people to actually meet and greet me and buy the fragrance. Please. Nice. Well, they're going to want to buy it when they smell you smelling delicious, so. <laughs> yes. I'm going to send you a bottle as well. I'm going to send you a bottle. Oh, my God. Bottle. I cannot wait. Yes, I'm going to send you a complimentary bottle so you can tell them, like, hey, his shit smells good. I don't yes. want anybody buying my shit just because of who I am. I want them to buy my shit so you guys can really know it smells good. Yes. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fake seller. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm very blunt. I will let you guys know. It's no alcohol smelling <laughs> shit. It doesn't smell like alcohol. It doesn't smell jake. It's very, it, it smells like a high-end cologne and perfume. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, you guys are going to love it. I believe it. Absolutely. I can't wait to smell it. And I'm sure I'm going I'm going to do a video and everything. So yes, thank I'm you very so excited. Much. All the reviews, I really appreciate that because I like the real reviews to come so people can actually see like, okay, so he's not, he's not um, just selling to his friends or his, you know, his home mm -hmm. so these, for who just say, oh, it smells good because it's him. <laughs> Can you ship if I wanted to purchase? Yeah, the sh shipping doesn't take long. You'll get if you order, you'll get your bottle three to five days less. There's no fourteen business days crap. Mm -hmm. There's no none of that. If you order, all you have to do is order. You don't have to order it through me. You can go straight to the website so you can get a confirmation code and everything. Okay, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, because that's a good thing to point out. Because some brands like they make it to order, so this one's already ready to ship. It's already ready to ship. It's not made to order, and we put like we have boxes and boxes, so Good. we're ready to ship, you guys. So check it out. You know, get one for your boyfriend or get one for your girlfriend if you know if you want to check it out. I'm sure it's something that they'll love. Well, you had you said it smells like baccarat uh, rouge, so we're already in there. So yes, I'm telling you, yes. a lot of people don't even know how that smells either. You know, we do though. We do. It, it, it smells good. That's all they need to know. It smells amazing. <laughs> Cool. It's a different type of smell. Exactly. Well, is there anything else that I left out that you would love to share? No, I just want to tell everybody to just to give a little motivation that you always can do anything that you put your mind to or your heart to. Stay yeah. motivated, stay grinded, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything and just keep pushing to the top and always network, network, network. And you and whatever comes out your mouth is what people are going to remember of you. So mm -hmm. speak it, speak it, and speak it, and speak it. That's all I have to say. Much love, much love to everybody. And I appreciate you. Um, I'm very excited and ecstatic about, you know, this interview and everything like that. I appreciate it. It's such a blessing to come on your platform and share, you know, the great things that I have coming up. So I really appreciate you. Oh, well, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and to, first of all, give us that beautiful motivational speech and to share with of us course. all the things you're working on. And my what I call the people on my platform, my Perfume Mafia, we love smelling good. So anything yeah. Come that on, Perfume you're... Mafia? Yes, yes. Perfume Mafia. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Perfume Mafia. Yes. Yes, and then I, I look forward to that fragrance, and I can't wait to do a video and let everyone know how amazing it smells. And I thank you so much again. And uh, it was great to me. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Have a good one. Bye, way. see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye, <laughs> see ya.